Hello friends, this video on statistics part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now let's study mode of ungrouped data. We have understood the mean of ungrouped data. Now let's study mode of ungrouped Before we study mode of ungrouped data, let's focus on what is mode. Mode is nothing but it is a value among the observation which occurs most of it. The one which has the maximum frequency is called the mode data. Correct? The one with maximum frequency. Example, in this case, we have to find the mode. So if you see, let, let's find the frequency. 2, done, 6, done, 4, done, 5, done, 0, done, 2, again I write here, 1 right here, 3 here, 2 here and 3 here. If you see 2 has the maximum frequency that is 3 times. 2 occurs 3 times. So the mode for this data is 2. Correct? Very simple. Mode is nothing but the one which occurs maximum time. The example which we gave was they were in the earlier slides, there were some five or six students and we were to find who is the most favorite teacher. Three students told physics teacher is the best, best teacher. So we found that physics is the best teacher. Similarly here also, we are doing, we have the set of data and we found that three occurs maximum number of times. So the mode for this data is three. In the real life, life example which we saw, there were five students and all the student, right, student, a, B, C, D, E. This guy told physics is the best teacher. This guy told math. This guy told physics. This guy told math. And this guy told again physics. So we found that three students told physics is the best teacher. And two told math is the best teacher. So we concluded that physics is the best teacher. That was done using mode. Similarly, here also mode is nothing but the data which has the maximum frequency. So let's start with mode of group. So in case of group data, since the data is grouped, it is not possible to determine the mode by looking at the frequency. Here we can only get the modal class. So if you see the data is in the group data, it's, it is in the form of the class. It is grouped actually. It is in the form of different buckets. For example, 20 to 30 range is one bucket. 30 to 40 range is one bucket. 40 to 50 is one bucket. So if you see data is grouped, the frequency is 2, 3, 5 like this. So using this, we are not, we should, we will not be able to determine the exact mode, but we should be able to locate the modal class by just by looking at this. By looking at data, for example, this data we have, if I am asked to find what is the value of the mode, I will not be able to tell. I can just tell that the maximum frequency is, or is for this class because this is happening five times. This is frequency. So I say this is the modal class. So this is something which I can tell by observing the data and then I have to apply the form. So the formula is like this. The mode is nothing but L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. And what are the values? So if you see here, L is nothing but lower limit of the modal class. So in this case, if you see, this is my modal class which has the maximum frequency. So L will be the lower limit of the modal class. H is the size of the class interval. So here if you see all are same. So the interval size is 10. 40 minus 30, 10. T minus 40, 10. Frequency is the frequency. F1 is the frequency of the modal class. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. So here let's suppose we have a mode 15 to 60 and the values. Correct. F0 is this guy, F1 is this guy, and F2 is the frequency succeeding the mode class. This guy is F2. Please note, first thing is we will do is we have to find the mode class. That we can do just by observing. The one which is maximum frequency is the mode class. Once I have the mode class, I can use the formula of mode is nothing but L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Here, L is the lower limit of the modal class, this guy. So let me repeat once again. 
L if you see is the lower limit of this model glass 40. F1 is the frequency of the model glass that is 5. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the model glass that is 3 here. F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model glass that is 2 okay. here. And H is nothing but size of the class interval. And the assumption is all the class size has to be same. Let's take some examples. The following data gives the information on the observed lifetime in hours of 225 electrical components. We have to find the lifetime of the component. So if you see here, the first thing we should notice is this is a group data. Why? Because this 2020, 40, 40, 60, 60, 80, 80, 100, 100. Is the higher limit of this class is the lower limit of this class. Also, the class size is 20 here, here also 20, 60 minus 40 is again 20, 80 minus 60 is 20, 100 minus 80 is again 20 and 120 minus 100 is again 20. So that means we can use the formula, correct? And the formula we know is nothing but L is equal to Formula is L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 H. So we have to find all the values. So the first thing is we have to find the modal class. So if we observe the data carefully, what we can see is the maximum frequency is for this class, 61. You see right, 61 is the maximum number. Next is 52, 38, 61 is the maximum number. So my modal class is this guy. Since this is my modal class, this becomes F1. The class preceding to be this becomes F0 and this becomes F2. Very simple. The first thing is find a modal class that becomes F1. The class preceding becomes F0 and this guy becomes F2. So I have F0, F1, F2. Correct? All this value I have. H is something is, we know H is nothing but the class interval. So H is nothing but 20. So this also value we know. What is the L? L is the lower limit of the modal class. So this guy is the lower limit of the modal class. 60. So this guy is L. So I'll write L is 60. So now let's put the value. This becomes 60 plus F1. F1 is 61 minus F0 52 by 2 into 61 minus F0 that is 52 minus F2 that is 38 into H that is 20. We saw this further. This becomes 60 plus 61 minus F2 that is 9 and this becomes 122 minus 52 minus 38 that is 32 into 20. So this becomes this becomes 60 plus 90 by 16. So this comes out to be 60 plus 5.625 and that is nothing but 65.62. So the modal lifetime of the component is 65.625 and this is hours. So we can say this many hours. Let's take one more example to clear the concept in the mode of the group data. Here also the distribution shows the number of runs scored by some top batsmen in the world in one day international cricket match. We have to find the mode of data. First thing is to find the, to check whether it's a modal class or not. So it's a group a group distribution because if you see the lower, higher of this is the lower of this class. So it's all same. That means it is a group distribution. Also the difference if you see this is 1k, 1000. Here also it is 1000 difference, 5000 minus 4000, 6000 minus 5000 is again 1000, 7000 minus 6000 is also 1000, 8000 minus 7000 is 1000, 9000 minus 8000 is 1000, 10000 minus 9000 again 1000 and 11000 minus 10000 also. Correct. The first thing is, we should know the formula. The formula is L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into S. This you, should, you have to. Remember, to find all these values, the first thing is we should know the modal class. 
the maximum frequency is for this class so this is my modulus class so this becomes f0 sorry f1 this becomes f0 the class proceeding and this becomes f2 the value of l is the lower limit of this class so this becomes l and the edge is 1k below so let me write the value here L is 4000, H is 1000, and F0 we know F0 is equal to 4, F1 is equal to 18, and F2 is equal to 9. Let me put all this value in the formula. This becomes 4000 plus F1 is 18 minus F0 4 by 2 into 18 minus F0 is 4 minus F2 is 9 into h is again 1000 to solve this this comes out to be this is again 4000 plus this value comes out to be 608.69 you add these two this becomes 4608.69 and this is the runs this is nothing but runs so the modal run scored by all this batsman is nothing but 46 0.8.69 very simple we just found the modal class once i have the modal class this becomes f1 this becomes f0 this becomes f2 the lower limit of this class becomes l and h is something we know the class interval put all the values it matches thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.